a number of different data layers available to me on the screen now. In the background, I've got the Landsat derived NDVI subset image. Then on top of that is the tree crown data that I created using eCognition and WorldView 2 data. Then we have the Landsat grid, which is an empty polygon shape file that aligns perfectly with our NDVI data. And also I have some point data, which is which just tells me the value of the NDVI cell that's lying underneath that particular point. So what I need to do next is to work with my tree crown data and start integrating it with the Landsat grids. So if I was to zoom in to any particular cell, what you'll see is that the, the polygons from the tree crown data actually cross the boundaries of my Landsat grid. So if I switch that off, you'll be able to see that you can no longer tell exactly where the grid cells start and stop. So what I need to do is to make sure that I chop those polygons so that when I integrate the grid with the tree crowns, I'm not actually counting the area of polygons that are lying outside of my grid. So to do that, I'm just going to go to Geoprocessing and use the Intersect tool. And my two inputs are going to be my Landsat grid and my tree crown data. So I can just select each of those at a time. There goes my Landsat grid and now my tree crown data. Now I will also put in an output feature class. So that's going to be my Landsat grid intersect and make sure that they, that goes into the correct folder that you want to use for your output. I'm just going to leave that at the moment because I have already run this process. And you can accept all those defaults. So once we run that process, we come up with a new file that should be automatically put into your table of contents there. And what you can see here now is that if I turn my tree crowns off, I've chopped the tree crowns to the exact extent of my Landsat grid around the outside here and also I can now see where those grid cells start and stop so there's a, a definite delineation between each grid cell. So this is really important for me to be able to do because my next step will be to count within that grid cell just how much of a percentage area is covered by my tree crowns. So what I need to do here is then to open the attribute table and I'm going to add a column here that's going to let me calculate just how much area I've got within my tree crowns. So each of those individual polygons. So under table options I'm going to go to add field and I'm going to call this area uh, meter squared. Now I'm going to change this to a floating point which will allow me to have decimal points there and the precision will be six so that means that I've got six digits available to me in my calculated field and the scale will be three which means that there can be three decimal places so I want to avoid having any rounding errors so this is quite important to do. So I click OK and I'll come up with an error oh no error for creating this outside and editing schedule and now right I'm, I'm going to right click on the top of this column here and go to calculate geometry. So there's my error for calculating outside of the editing session, but that's okay. I'm just going to run with that. Going to accept that, happy with that. Another error. And this will now calculate the area of all individual polygons within that particular shape file. So that'll populate that field. And then once it does that, I can then start to look at summarizing the amount of area covered by those trees within within my data set and particularly within the individual Landsat grid cells.